What's up everyone, and welcome back to Nexus. The human race as a whole is pretty obsessed with things that are big. We like cars with big engines, houses with big rooms, and phones with big screens. In today's video, we want to show you that bigger doesn't always mean better. Today, we're covering the top 10 smallest things in the world. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we're so close to 600,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below on which item you would want to own from this list and why. And for this video, let's see if we can get a thousand likes, which is the golden like button, so make sure to like it to help us out. Anyways, let's jump into it. Number 10. This is the Swiss minigun, and it's the smallest gun in the world. It was produced in Switzerland by a company called Swiss Minigun, and is now their only product, hence the name of the company. The revolver is a tiny 5.5 centimeters long, 3.5 centimeters tall, and 1 centimeter round. It fires 2.34 millimeter rim fire rounds, which are also custom made. You might think that this tiny weapon would have no use in the world, how could something so small kill someone? Well, its bullets are actually fired at over 270 miles per hour, which is more than enough to kill at close ranges. Because of that, the US and UK governments have both forbidden the importation of the weapon, as it could very easily be concealed and used as a lethal murder weapon. Number 9. The Peel P50 is the smallest car ever approved for street use, and it looks like something straight out of a cartoon. Honestly, I could see clowns using this thing to get from party to party. The vehicle is classed as a three-wheeled microcar and was originally made between 1962 and 1965 by Peel Engineering Company in the UK. It was designed as a city car that was capable of seating one adult and a shopping bag. It was sold for the equivalent of around $2,200. In 2000. In 2010, they actually started making the P50 again with upgrades to the gear systems, suspension, steering, and drive chains. They also produced an electric model. Both the cars can reach 28 miles per hour and are sold in the EU for around 10,000 pounds. Though why anyone would actually want one, I'll never understand. Unless you're a clown. Number 8. The smallest teapot in the world is truly tiny. The Chinese master potter released its mini teapot in 2007, and it's so tiny that it only weighs 1.4 grams. Much like any normal sized Chinese teapot, the work of art was created by the working with clay and molding it to create the correct form, which must have been pretty difficult considering it can fit in one single finger. I'm pretty sure you can actually make tea in this thing as well. You know, if you could find some tea leaves that were small enough and only wanted a dribble of tea, that is. Number 7. Sark Prison was built in 1856 on the Channel Islands in the UK and is currently the smallest prison in the world. It only has room for two prisoners, which is actually fine considering the entire island has around 600 people living on it. The building is located next to the visitor center on the island and was first constructed as a strategy to strengthen Sark's defenses against the threat of invasion. The prison is mainly used to hold people who are too drunk to be out and about buying more alcohol because the majority of Sark people are law-abiding people, which makes sense considering how few people live there. Number 6. The world's smallest postal service, or the WSPS as it's more usually known, is based in San Francisco. It's not that these guys have the world's smallest office, or they have the world's smallest route, or anything like that. They literally take your letters and then turn them into tiny, miniature versions. The letters become so small that you can barely read them. But hey, I guess it's pretty nice for Christmas? No, maybe a birthday. No, I think April Fools would be the best choice here. Either way, they're tiny and it's mail. Number five. Not only is San Francisco home to the WSPS, it's home to Tumbleweed, the smallest house in the world. The house was actually built by the company Tumbleweed as well, who specialized in building tiny homes. These houses can be smaller than someone's closet and can even have wheels attached to them so they can literally be driven somewhere else. I mean, why buy an RV when you can hook your house right up to your truck and take it with you, right? Number four. The smallest police station in the world is even smaller than the smallest prison, and it can be found in the town of Carabelle, Florida. The police station is pretty much just a phone booth and is more like a UK police box than anything else. In the 60s, the box didn't even exist, and it was just a phone that policemen were meant to use. 
However, a man named Johnny Mirabella, who worked for the St. Joe Telephone Company, noticed that policemen would get wet when answering calls in the rain, and they were having issues with illegal, long-distant phone calls anyways. So he got together with the police and built a little mini box and called it the police station. Number 3 the smallest piece of artwork in the world was made by Willard Wigan. He suffered from dyslexia and multiple learning difficulties, so never really did well in school and was also bullied by students and teachers alike. But for what he lacked in book smarts, he made up for in artistic abilities. Willard was able to create tiny works of art that could hardly be seen by the human eye. In 2013, he revealed his smallest piece of art made out of his own tiny stubble hairs from his face. He hollowed a piece of the tiny hair out and made a sculpted golden motorbike named the Golden Journey. It's the tiniest piece of sculpture ever made and can only be seen by using a microscope. He said that he made the sculpture to show just how big little things are. Number 2 This one is just a teddy bear, but you won't be able to cuddle with this teddy bear, mainly because it's only 3 millimeters tall. The bear was created by the artist Batima Kaminsky and was created using a traditional German method by sewing the bear inside out, stuffing it and then jointing it so that the limbs could all move independently. After constructing the tiny thing, which moved just like a real teddy bear, she gave it to a museum in Germany that displays tiny things. Apparently creating the bear was incredibly painful and led to bloodshot eyes and many stabbed fingers. Number 1 in this video so far, we've basically been looking at the smallest things made by people. But no, we're taking it one step further, straight into the realm of hypothetical physics. String theory is the highly controversial theory that every particle in the universe is connected by tiny, one-dimensional objects known as strings. Technically, since they're one-dimensional, they have no physical form. But considering the human bonds of reasoning, it could be argued that these one-dimensional strings that might not actually exist are in some sense the smallest objects in the universe and by proxy, maybe even the world. Now I probably just lost you there cause I'm even lost myself. So if I lost you there, leave a comment letting me know you have no idea what that meant. Anyways, that was our list for the top 10 smallest things in the world. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video in the future. Also make sure to hit that like button so we can get the golden like button of a thousand likes. Thank you so much, have a great day and goodbye.